Hi and welcome to part two of my painting wildflowers at Cape Columbine. But I forgot to mention on the way up to Cape Columbine I stopped at Grotta Bay and this little sketch I did because this is always a great indication that there are good flowers to come. So very loose sort of sketch but um, Cape Columbine, windy days, um, I always, always pack a wind jacket because you never know exactly if that chilly Cape wind is going to appear. So that was my view and I started my, uh, my main painting with spraying the page a little bit and just putting very loose washes, uh, more ultramarine on top for the sky, a bit of burnt sienna, yellow ochre, coming in with uh, a few blues. I will mention all the colors in the description below so please read the description below if you'd like to know the colors dotting in with some of the purple little flowers and they are so so bright you, you almost can't believe that it's a, a, a natural type of flower so this is my view you can see the, the little pink flowers in the way way in the distance and I will show you a more close up view later on and once the basics was done I've come in with a pencil description below it's a it's like a, a charcoal pencil a soft one and just defining certain things letting them stand out and giving it a a little bit more of a freer look if you like just adding some graphic marks and uh, to make it like a mixed media that's not a purest watercolor I always think you can add any medium you want to any painting um, I'm not uh, although I do often paint pure watercolor um, I'm not an advocate for it um, I think it's beautiful but not necessary so I like adding different strokes and different things to my paintings uh, before I forget part three will not be flowers but it will be the seascape and uh, seagulls. I'll be painting seagulls, the cottages of the little town that we stayed in at Potanosta. So that will be the part three of this, this little series. Um, the reserve that I paint in, paint at is called Cape Columbine. It's quite a small reserve, um, 263 hectares. And the lighthouse there is the last manual operated lighthouse in South Africa about 18 meters high so pretty pretty special built in 1936 so um, this little reserve is well known for its cycle paths hiking paths um, camping so a great little spot to be in so that was the end without the graphic lines that was with the graphic lines and just a bit of video of the lighthouse Cape Columbine that I was chatting about as you can see the wind is blowing pretty strongly <laughs> and that is my view for the next short painting again just quick wash of very light color lots of splattering I think you all know by now I love my splattering adding random colors mainly the yellows that we see in the distance adding in the the few pinks here and there and then defining the lighthouse with pen and ink and a bit of writing so i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll be back next week with the seascape and seagulls on the beach